Hello, Kevin. Nice to see you. I know that your big thing in life is seeing pictures in data and making pictures from data. Can you describe a little of what you do and then why being able to visualize data, what difference it makes and how it's helpful? Sure. Uh, what I'll do is I'll start with the, the second part of that question first. Um, why, why use data visualization? Well, data visualization, as you know, has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years from maps to whatever. And today, um, with the large amount of data that co corporates and enterprises have to deal with, it becomes very challenging for them to understand that data and use it. So basically, what data visualization does is enables businesses to make better business decisions. Mm -hmm. And they really do that for, it, it kind of helps that in four ways. The first thing is really by helping the end viewer user to understand the data better. They also um, allows them to focus. So instead of looking at, you know, just spreadsheets or, you know, more traditional views of data, they can look at something that's a lot more interesting and a lot more appealing. Um, it tackles larger vo volumes of data, so instead of looking at thousands and thousands of rows in a spreadsheet or in a database, you can summarize that whether it's in a two-dimensional format such as graphs that make it more consumable by people. And um, that all leads to understanding and it helps people to understand the data. data Could better. you give me an example of how for sure, you know, uh, an application that I might use um visualization of data for? Yeah, well, if we use the example of the work we're doing with the forum mm. in terms of what the forum is doing from a data visualization, um, one of the traditional ways people have of looking at forum data is through posters. They look at the ETOM or the, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. TAM or the SID poster, and that can be extremely daunting. You know, it's a large number of components and it kind of scares people quite significantly. So what we've done in collaboration with the forum is we've created a three-dimensional version of that frameworks that allows people to zoom in and only view the information that they want. It creates heat maps, it allows them to search, and it gives them a business context to use that information. So would it be fair for me to say that this is about making elements of frameworks more accessible and easier to, easier to find and use? Exactly. And, and the other key word is consumable, yeah. right? So how do people use it. The, the forum has a massive repository of information, a huge amount of data, but the, the, the challenge for the forum and for other organizations that do have large amounts of artifacts and documents is how do you get that to the people who need to use it and to be able to use it in a meaningful way for their particular use. So rather than looking at the poster and trying to define what I want to use, you ask the question, I'm interested in implementing a digital service and it will show you so, immediately. Kevin, how does this fit with the digital services toolkit work or is this the mechanism that we're using along with the business model canvases? Yeah, so very much in the, di the digital services toolkit, the, 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 the key point on that is that there's two, two elements on that. There's a context and components. So the context is, the business side of things, how you can consume it, how you can view it through things such as business scenarios, um, business model canvases, and those in turn will allow somebody to be able to say, I'm interested in launching an IoT service, this is the type of information I want, and it will point them directly at that level of information. So it's complementary. Absolutely, and really cool. And thank you very much. You're very welcome.